The best advice I could give to anybody else is get advice, listen to it, and when things go wrong, take a step back, dust yourself off, and go back at it. Uh, it's, the best, it's, it's the advice I give to my team. Should we have a bad week sales to us? Don't worry. Sit down, forget about it. What's the new target? What's the new crisis? What's the new thing you've got to do? And just compart you have to just basically take every single thing as it comes separately. Uh, otherwise, you just you go mad. You also do this uh, nice sherry decanter. It's cut glass, and it comes complete with six glasses on a silver plated tray that your butler could uh, bring you in. You serve your drinks on, and it's really only cost four pounds ninety five pence. People say to me, how can you sell this for such a low price? I say because it's total crap. Um, 25 years ago, seems like yesterday, which was tomorrow, I'd cancel it. Where are the shares going to £6.50? They went to 2p, uh, because of the speech, obviously. And of course I didn't ask them what would happen in that eventuality. And the answer, I was soon to find out, that the answer was that it would convert to debt with an extortionate interest coupon, which actually meant that I ended up owing the bank a billion pounds. In my situation, the fact that I've been knocked down and came back is basically a story of resilience, which I think is uh, very appropriate because I don't see how anyone can sail through life or business without experience some sort of setback. And it's the way that you deal with that setback. It can actually be a good thing. I actually think that setbacks can be a good thing. So I try and get that message over that it's not all over uh, when you have a setback. I mean, if I could turn around what was the biggest corporate gaffe of all time and turn that negative into a positive, then the audience can turn around anything. I went home to my wife and I said, uh, I'm now going to be doing this show, my own business show on Sky One. She said, don't do it. I said, why? She says, because you'll say something stupid and you will wreck your new business just like you wrecked your old business. She always builds me up like that. She said, what will you do then? You'll be lying in bed watching Countdown. We'll be skinned. What will you do? And I said to her, I will just start all over again. Thanks a lot.